Hey, hi guys. Uh, good day. My name is Debo Onofuwara. I'm the MD of BIC Farms Concept. Okay, as you know, uh, BIC Farms Concept is into soilless agriculture. And then today I just quickly want to talk to you about a new innovation in town, something that is taking over the whole world. I can tell you that, but uh, at BIC Farms Concept, we are already deploying it. What is it? It is called Responsive Drip irrigation system what is responsive drip irrigation system responsive drip irrigation system is that type of irrigation system whereby uh, we lay a drip system in uh, a growing trough in a growing trough this system is laid on the bottom of the growing trough it's not like any other type of system or drip irrigation you have seen out there. Every drip irrigation has what we call emitters, an emitting hole, where it drips nutrient and water from. With responsive drip, it does not have an emitter. It has something called micropores. Micropores specifically, uh, it's like my skin and your skin. Now, look at it this way. Depending on the environment, our skin responds to what is happening around. If the environment is not conducive, probably it's very hot. I can start sweating. That is, the pores on my skin will open up and I'll start sweating. And if the environment is probably okay, I will not sweat. You get what I'm trying to say? So, now, you cannot see the pore on my skin, but yet it opens up for water to come out and then it seals up when everything is okay with me that's exactly how the responsive drip irrigation system that is called the rdi also work now the rdi system as you can see is a system that is laid in your growing trough it's under the trough deep down there with its pores closed when plant is growing, plant root releases something called exudate anytime the plant needs to take up water or it needs nutrients. The plant exudate is released into the environment. It's either a substrate environment or a soil environment. So when that exudate is released, then the particles around where your plant is growing is loosened up. And then the plant takes the plant takes up water. So the plant takes the water anytime the plant needs the water. Now, a normal drip irrigation system is a type of system whereby we regulate the feeding. We regulate how the system takes water. We regulate uh, the quantity of water the plant takes because naturally we know how much or what quantity of what a plant needs naturally but we regulate it but in this system the plant self regulate what it needs each plant regulates what it needs now the system i'm showing you there is something unique about it we have different type of crop and the same type of crop we planted them at different times the reason is this this system supports plants of different ages to grow uh, an older one, a younger one, each plant takes up nutrient as it needs. Now, you, you can see what I'm showing you here. This is a uh, celery. This celery uh, grew at different times, and you can see them. You can see this. This is kale. Um, um, okay, let me try and dig out the, the drip system so that you can actually see what I'm talking about in here now if, if if you look okay I don't know if you can see that white thing that is exactly what the RDI looks like it's inside there water and nutrient flows in it and it self regulate itself releases water when the plant needs holds up is water when the plant does not need so you can look at the type of array of crops here Look at this leafy. 
Look at this cucumbers. You won't believe these cucumbers are just a week plus. They are not yet two weeks. And they are flowering already. See how well they are growing. You get what I'm saying? This system was designed for apartment houses. People that live in probably uh, an apartment house in an urban center. Probably you live in Lekki, you live in Ekoi, you are in Metama, you are in Port Harcourt, you live in the city of Kano. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say? You live somewhere you don't have enough space to uh, probably grow your crops. With this system, you can grow any type of crop at any time of the year. It self-regulates, uh, it makes plant to grow. It's strictly what we call organic chemistry. The plant root releases the nutrient as it needs. Look at this cabbage. It's growing already and it's growing vertically. You, 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 you get what I'm saying now? And you can see what I'm showing you here. So the plants are growing steadily, neatly, without any human interference, without any uh, any personal touch. So for somebody that works in an office and um, probably you work morning to very late in the night, you still want to have a garden and you are bothered, who will manage my garden for me? This is the system that you need. You don't need anybody to manage the garden for you because the plant takes the nutrient as it needs. Remember, it self-regulates. You, you, you get what I'm saying? You only need to come probably over the weekend, look at your plants. If they are ready, you just uh, probably cut what you need from the plant and then um, you are good. You are good. So this is the best in what I call hydroponic technology anywhere in the world. It's a new innovation that uh, we just uh, uh, came about and it's already uh, moving fine all around the world. So I want to encourage everyone who wants to probably grow their own fresh veggies. Let me, let me, let me advise us. One of the best things we can do for ourselves is to grow our own fresh fruits and vegetables. So that because you don't know what they are selling out there. There was a time we discovered that people are using all manner of water to wash fruits and veggies. With this system, you can grow your own vegetable neatly in your home, in your backyard, anywhere you want to put it. It grows. It's a, it's, it's, it's a beauty on its own. It adds aesthetic to your home. It adds, um, it, it's the, the plants are breathing. And the, it increases the oxygenation in, in, in your environment. It increases the oxygen rate in your environment. It takes uh, out the carbon dioxide around you. So it, it helps you to have an healthy living environment. And anytime you need your veggies, just go there, cut it. With this single system, you can grow about 120 to 150 crop. Suitable for a family of four. Every month, conveniently all year round. So, this is what I've brought to you, and this is what uh, uh, I just decided to quickly share to you about. So, if you have any question, you can uh, probably put it in the comment section, or you ask me. But this is the best thing that is happening in the industry of hydroponics technology responsive technique system working with responsive drip irrigation system less water more green no controller no sensor it's the most efficient irrigation and hydroponic technology system made anywhere in the world thank you for listening and i'll, I'll be glad to take your questions and comment and observations thank you very much